they can't do you, this but- to us. Oh my God, I need to watch it. Like we were losing our dying. Minds. Hi, we're the K3, and this is our finale series for Yumi Cells. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa, and you, thank you so much for taking a K-drama coffee break with us. Yumi Cells season one is why we're here to chat today, right? And I'm really excited because what we always start with is what we liked about it. I did not like it to begin with because I was like, what is um, uh, what is going to happen here? But what were your first thoughts with I, Yumi Cells? I loved it right from the beginning. I loved the cells. I love Kim go I just, I, I love this. I knew we were going to go on this journey of them falling in love i didn't realize it was going to end the way it did. <laughs> oh my god but like right at the beginning i i fell hard right? right away it's based off of a webtoon of the same name and we kind of knew what was going in but i was not sold on the animation and the live action right out of the gate but then i was like obsessed like i could not get enough of those cells is it because it felt too cartoony or it felt I, young or you just didn't I think know it what was, the... it felt too young at first. Mm-hmm. Like maybe it was just the, it was the uh, trailers and whatnot we saw that I was just like, oh, this is, I don't think this is going to work for me. But then like two, two or three episodes in and I was all in and I could not get enough of those cells. <laughs> I remember <laughs> at one point I turned on the Vicky comments uh-huh. and there were all these people, you know, cause there, there was so much happening with the cells and yeah. less happening with yes. our real life in-person mm-hmm. couple. So I was seeing lots of, how come she didn't say this? Or how is it she reacted that way? Why didn't she say this? And I was like, but that's the point of the cells. Yeah. To work through all of that, which was brilliant. Which was brilliant. And I did. I fell completely in love with the cells. Yeah. Almost, mo- not, I can't say more than the characters, but I almost needed the cells more than I needed the characters because they were kind of, they were like us. Would, they would yeah. they would sit and watch the movie of the day. <laughs> and I mean, the, the, the sexy cell was <laughs> the most hilarious cell ever. Sexy cell, the detective the sex, cell. Oh my God. The fashion cell. Yes. The uh, hunger cell. Oh my God. My other favorite one was his Choa cell, who just was like the grump was the one who was just like... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> King <laughs> Sullen. Can't tell what's King Sullen. Like the cells were amazing. They were the best. The fact that the love cell was in a coma for three <laughs> years. I mean, there was just so much to resonate with it, right? Like yes. whose love cell hasn't been in a coma for at least three years, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, so there was, I did. I obviously became a huge fan girl, yeah. even though at first I was like, "This is not going to work for me." <laughs> But I can admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> I can totally admit when I'm wrong. And then you had Kim go and An Bo Hyun. Their chemistry, Marisa, do you remember how much we lost our minds in Vancouver because it wasn't subject? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're Vicky, like, they can't do you, this but... to us. Oh, my God. I need to watch it. Like, we were losing our Dying. Minds. Dying. I we were so addicted to so it. So addicted to it. We were yeah. so invested. And we so, haven't read the web too. No, still and haven't. So. <laughs> so to be perfectly honest, we were really bummed out with the ending of season oh my one. God, yeah. I it took everything I had to finish season one because I was a little behind. Mm-hmm. But it, because it was just, I was so angry. I was so yeah, angry because about it. we fell in love as they were falling in love. Yes. And it was just like the mistakes, the oh. embarrassing moments. Oh my god! The hotel need, room. Yeah, the hotel room. Hello. But like that whole episode with him having to go to the bathroom, like we need to circle back to this when we start talking about season two, because yes. it was so real and ridiculous and just laugh out loud, Ooh. juvenile funny. Yes. And it was. And like you said, we fell in love at the same time they fell in love. It was mm-hmm. like watching. And I mean, I'm not trying to be obnoxious, but like I'm watching a real relationship. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that over. It wasn't. It didn't seem to be that. It wasn't. It wasn't the over manufactured stuff. Yeah. It was like it seemed like they were really dating. Yeah. And so when it fell apart, you're like, no. <laughs> there were just so many silly moments, but then it's counted countered with like her. She had so many self doubts. Yes. Right. So real. It was so real. It was <laughs> so real. I just I remember just being like, this is almost too real, Marisa. I remember <laughs> having that moment a few times on our lives. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I mean, so the cast again, it was Kim go We had Ahn Bo-hyun, mm-hmm. who, listen, I I just become a huge Ahn Bo-hyun fangirl. When we saw him in Kairos, 
coming yeah. off of eat to one class. Listen, yeah, that was a whole game changer for me. <laughs> and then he became um in this one, and he was adorable and goofy, and like yeah. had the hair and the goatee. Like, listen, I fell in love <laughs> completely. So I was really bummed out by the ending. Uh, yeah, we also had uh, Park Ji Hyun who played the. Oh, she always plays such a just a nasty character, but she's so good at it. She's so good, and you just can't trust her, right? Because she's, um, man, it's like I mean, I've met, we've met her before, <laughs> exactly. right? And like, so she's a little she's too his, real. She is Kung's office mate slash, slash best friend. friend slash unrequited love. Yes. If I can't have him, nobody yes. will. And she plays it to a T. Like mm. she is, that, she's that so hit good hard. With it did. Right? Yeah. And so it was kind of satisfying to see her not win that game. And then I think that's what made the ending even more sad for me. Because I'm like, oh, she's back. In the she, can, she can get back in the game now. Yeah. Damn. Uh, uh. Um, and then, of course, Park Ting Young, who's in as Yu Bobby. Yeah. Who, as when we get to season two, we talk about that key, key player, right? That's right. So the way he was introduced was really interesting because he was <gasps> in another relationship. And... The way they had that, just she didn't see anybody other than uh, Ung. Yeah. And it was just the <laughs> smiley face over every other yeah. male's face. It yes. was so fantastic. Yeah. And then slowly she sees his face. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, oh uh-huh. no. This show so freaking clever. So it's the clever. webcomic writer was Lee Dong Gun. Mm-hmm. And um, kind of surprising that it was written by a man, was, honestly. Yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I actually read an article because once we once we we finished season one, mm-hmm. I was then obsessed with the webtoon, right? Yeah. So I'm like, where are we going, show? What's happening? And so I went and spoiled myself on how the webtoon ended and all of that. And so it ends wildly different than what we were expecting in season one. Mm-hmm. And I was reading an article with E Dungun, and he was basically saying, I mean, I wrote the webtoon, but they can do whatever they want with the ending here. And so I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, that's really interesting. Is that a clue? Right. <laughs> so I think at some point we're going to have to put a big old spoiler alert here because I would really love to talk about the fact that we still haven't seen a certain person cast at all. And right. So are they keeping it under wraps? Right. Or are, are, or are they going in a different direction? Okay. So if you're listening or watching, spoiler alert, <laughs> jump ahead jump ahead <laughs> if you want to hear us talk about season two we'll have uh, we will have chapters listed so you can do that all right shin sung rock mm-hmm. yes that's a, that's the character i'm sorry yeah shin sung sun rock that is the that's the end game in the webtoon so that's the third the third, third guy. boyfriend or the fourth if you don't count yeah. the first one she broke up with by the time we meet her and we haven't seen him even remotely mentioned or cast no, because the cells looked at pictures in mm-hmm. their library, yes. but their head was cut off. So you could we see. have no idea. <laughs> we have Such no a tease. idea. Yeah. Such a tease. Yeah. So. so I'm wildly curious if A, they're going in a different direction. Mm-hmm. Or B, a lot of the people who read the webtoon on Twitter were very excited to see them actually flesh out the Shin Sung Rock character more because I guess in the webtoon it really wasn't as fleshed out. As oh. They didn't give quite as much real estate as they did to Ung or Bobby or anyone like that. So they're yeah. looking forward to kind of seeing that happen. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I heard in the web comic on balance the story was mostly you, Bobby. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the webcomic went on for like four years. Yes, yeah, it was long. It was so, like, yeah. I want to say 500 episodes or oh, something wow. like that. It was, it, was a, it was years long. Wow. So that's the thing I'm really, when they, if, if they cast that, then we know where they're going. But I'm also wild. Like we've spent, when we were talking on the lives, we would talk all the time about like what we thought our casting would be. So if you want a chance, check those out. <laughs> all right. So back to, but back to Yumi Cells and Yumi Cells too. Uh-huh. So um, what were they, do you have any quibbles with Yumi Cells the first season? Um, the K3 is Jen, Marisa, and you. You are part of this K-drama community. And our podcast and our live chats on YouTube are supported by members like you. Check out our memberships and you can support us for as little as $3 a month or more. And each tier gets you access to great K-drama perks, like a calendar every month with premieres and finales, watch parties with some of your closest K-drama BFFs, private Zoom chats where we can squee and quibble all week 
we want and it'll stay private in that room. And a little bit more and you might even get some K-drama goodies. So go to Kofi.com. That's K-O-F-I.com slash the K3. Click on memberships and support the K-drama coffee break. Quibbles. No, not really, because it was disappointing how it ended, but then that's following the source material. So right. um, I think, though, I guess the only quibble was that Kim Goon was so likable that when you got to the end where she wanted to be the star of her own movie, her own show, I was like, I'm not sure where that came from. Yeah. Like I had forgotten that her love cell had been in a coma for three years. I as, And even though we saw the first jerk of a boyfriend it kind of I didn't quite quite make that connection because I'm like why is she dismantling her relationship with with um yeah and I mean listen (laughs) the guy wasn't giving her the time of day by that point right so like let's be honest he was going down the boyfriend route that we've all seen a million times yeah I didn't tell you because I didn't want to yeah Exactly. So we've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, it's difficult to take Kim go and have her suddenly become. Um, and I guess for me, it was difficult to believe that she didn't believe enough in herself yeah. to put herself first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just, yeah. you know, yeah. I, Cause she was doing really well at work. Yeah. Like she had, she had made this transition to the marketing yeah. team from the accounting exactly. team, you know, <laughs> she seemed pretty self-assured. Yeah. And so that was, I would, I would agree with that one yeah. for sure. And I thought they also, the, the, uh, the Kuhn character also, I felt like they were like, it was almost like the writers realized that we were all so in love with him that they had to suddenly make him not lovable anymore. Yes. And it, it did feel like we went from, ah, to, bad boyfriend in like maybe like one episode. It yeah. seems like it was a very fast transition into why it wouldn't work. Except though, this was, this was not filmed live or kind of on top right. of airing because they have to do the animation, which takes a very true. long time. That's true. So maybe yeah. they just were not expecting how maybe. much we, <laughs> we loved him because the, there was, there, there was some outcries out in the old oh, uh, Twitter verse yeah. about what. Yeah. Know, but I mean, again, it's hardly a quibble because it was just so well done. And their breakup scene, I was in tears. Oh, <laughs> it was so. They put the card down. Oh. And it, 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 no one, no one really wants it. And it's at the same fountain where they had their first date. And I'm like, why show? Why? It, was, it was hard. Yeah, it was hard. Um, my other quibble, not enough Che Min Ho. <laughs> they started so strong with him, right. like you know, half naked in her bed. Yeah. And, uh, and then they his, had, yeah. you know, I would have liked to see his gay storyline. Yes. That's really good. And, maybe, and he's appealing. Maybe so. we will in season two. Is he listed? Is he in season oh, two? Let's see. Is he listed on the season two? Hmm. I don't see him listed for season Darn two. It. Which is shiny, too bad, right? Is busy. Oh, he does have a guest role. So maybe okay. he'll show up. I mean, that would be nice. That would be nice. Because I, so. I did. I was kind of hoping to see who it was that he actually did like. Yeah. 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 Um. So, okay, so speaking of season two, Mm -hmm. we know the trailers have dropped, which are heartbreaking all over again because (laughs) they basically, it's hilarious because it's the cells all sitting around. If you haven't seen it yet, the cells are all sitting around as the director cell (laughs) is giving the trailer of the, of season one. And they basically (laughs) recap her entire relationship with Ung and it's just like, show, I finally got over it. Why would you break my heart all over again? And I think even... What was the one cell that was the angry one that I so resonated with? Oh. Her main cell. I forget the name of that one's name. And she was just looks at the director. She's like, what are you doing? And he's like, season two. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a new script. And then they show. <laughs> and then they show you, Bobby. <laughs> so what are your what are your initial thoughts heading into that? Well, so there was such a silliness to going that I loved, like his shirts, the frog, the, frog. the you know, I remember there was this one shirt that said, why is the cat screaming? <laughs> <laughs> and so there's lots of, like, he's a complex yes. man and a complex character. You, Bobby, I know we don't know him yet, but he's very put together <laughs> and his fashion is on point. Yeah. And yeah. he's the head of the department. So yeah. like, 
you know, I, I'm so curious to see where his vulnerabilities are going to come in, but like that goofiness with Wong that we just fell for, I just yes. don't, that's, I mean, the little frog who snuck, who, 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 who like disguised himself to sneak into her, into her cell camp, mm -hmm. like, yeah. and when she, her love cell dove into the lake to bring up the commitment <laughs> box of, like, I just, was buried, I mean, yeah. how do you, I know, I mean, I'm not sure I'm ready to go on that journey again. Oh, yeah. So we just don't know that yeah. much about you, Bobby. So. So it's going to yeah. be interesting. Yeah. I don't, and and maybe it'll be different, but mm -hmm. I did not, the chemistry between Kim go -un and Park Jin Young did not jump off the screen as much for me as it did with Ambo here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to, I, I think hilariously as someone who started off not really loving the cells, I think the cells are going to be the ones that get me through on this one. <laughs> the same. Uh, you know, we're often wrong. <laughs> often. Uh, we are just, I will probably come back and be like, I was completely wrong. I loved it. You Bobby for life. <laughs> but so we're just fangirls like the rest of you. That's right. We're trying to figure <laughs> things out that before we've seen them right. as you do. As you do. <laughs> but I also remember hearing that at, at some point at the beginning of the shooting, Ambo Hyun didn't have a script yet. Oh, but then he was on set. But I don't know if those are flashbacks yeah. or those are present because there was a big question right. of whether he was successful or whether he was lying to her about being successful. <gasps> Remember? So oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also horribly spoiled with the webtoon, so oh. I know the answer to that. Uh, so mm. there's that. Okay. Um, but yes, I think he is listed. So I'm hoping it's not just flashbacks. But then again, do I want him to? Maybe I don't want to see him again. That because is a good if, point. Because if we don't, I don't know if I, I, it might be too much for me. It may right. be like running into an old, old boyfriend for me personally. Oh, no. It's like when Carrie Bradshaw ran into Aiden, he turned yes. around and he had a baby carrier. Yes. It just destroyed us all. Yes. <laughs> we don't so want I'm, that. I'm not sure. I, I don't, not sure. I want him to be there. I want him to be there. I'm not sure I want him to be there. Again, like an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the emotional conflict right? yes. that we're dealing so, with currently. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to, season two is going to be interesting. It drops June 7th. Uh huh. So it's, it's just a few weeks away from the time that we are recording this. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's exciting. I'm excited because there was also, do you remember when they did the, there was a video that was out online uh, with just the cells doing the animation, the voiceover artists yeah. doing the animation. Yeah. I will link it below and just check it out. I mean, yeah. those cells are there. They, they went from being like me being like now to like, they're, they're just amazing. Like watching them perform and watching them work is just. If anyone's in South Korea, I need a set of pens right? that have little, um, cells figures <gasps> on them do they have like them? the squid game one i they might if they have them for squid game they might right? have them for the cells i want the cells. i need them. i would we be need more we when we them. were growing up they had the little like uh they had like little smurf mm -hmm. collection i want the entire cell collection yeah the little okay yes yes <laughs> <laughs> so okay all right do you have any final thoughts or anything you're really looking forward to in season two well just that i'm so anticipating season two and i'm really anticipating season three Yes. So uh, I think that's what it is. It's like, I almost like want to just, you know, like with all sequels, it's almost like the sequel is just filler to get to the finale. I kind of feel unfortunately bad for you, Bobby and uh, Puck Jin Young, because we, it's like, let's just, yeah, I don't need well, a whole season of you if you're not endgame. Like, let's move on. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. So I hope it's super enjoyable. And I hope yeah. that you, Bobby, we need so much more from this character. So I, I kind of, I can't wait to dig in. I, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. All right, you guys, let us know what you're thinking about Yumi Cell season one, season two, what you think about the future. And until then, we are the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa. Thank you for being a part of this K-drama coffee break. We'll see you next time. Bye.